everyone, it's Amy, uh, and this is my channel, Designed by Amy. We are here today with Mon <laughs> in her kitchen. So this is Monica's kitchen, and she's going to teach us how to make macaroons today. <laughs> so watch along. Okay, so let me just prepare this real quick. Okay. We got all the ingredients out, so she'll tell you guys what it is. Okay. We're going to make chocolate macarons today with chocolate ganache filling, mm. and then we can add... <laughs> Because it's everyone's best friend. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody that doesn't like Nutella. And if you don't like Nutella, I'm sorry, but you can't be in a cool club. Yeah, go away. <laughs> okay, so to room temperature egg whites, um, we're going to use powdered sugar, granulated sugar, which I have set here, so I'm just going to put this aside. And cocoa powder to give it the, the cookie, mm -hmm. the flavor. We're going to be working on the cookie first. But the main ingredient is almond meal. I like this brand. You can get it at Vons or Ralph's or Albertsons. Um, don't go to Trader Joe's for this. And if you're not in the U.S., um, I'm sure you can Google what other kinds there are and what reviews there are about them. But this is, I don't know if they have this everywhere, but. Yeah, it's um, the Red Mill, if you can see. Now we're going to be working on the dry ingredients uh, and then later we'll mix it with the egg whites and the sugar which will be foamy and that's a different process. Um, so we have one cup, we're going to need a sifter um, oh, and a good. nice bowl. So one cup of the powdered sugar, if you want Amy you can go ahead and put that there. Do I just pour it in? You can just put all, all of it in, all of it in, yeah. Okay. And then while she shakes it up and yeah, sifts that, we're going to put three-fourths cup of almond meal. So just And you guys, um, basically on. sifting, you could get something that's an actual sifter, but you, you can, can use, use a food processor as well, but this works the best. Sometimes food processor, and this is an important process because if, um, you know, the almond meal, you see that there's little chunks in there. Um, even while you sift it, you could throw those away. This is important because it's going to give your cookie a very smooth shape um, and it's not going to be bumpy. The sift dance. The sift dance. Okay, let me add this and then you can sift it. Is it, it okay to? Yeah, okay. you can mix it. So that's one. Two. Do we use a fork or anything to press them down? Um, you can just kind of shake it a little. If you want, I can demonstrate. Okay. <laughs> so, I kind of like to... So in like go. a circular motion? Yeah. Okay. And then, there are chunks, so we can use like... A fork. Maybe something like this oh. to... Oh, smart. Change it. Um, to break down the little chunks. Yeah. But, there are going to be a lot, and I like to kind of... Just keep, and this is like the process that takes a while. So should we like stop? Do you want to stop it? Yeah. Wait. And also, we're going to need the two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I like to use Hershey's because it's the best. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add this in and sift it together. And again, these are their dry ingredients. So after you finish um, sifting, just mix everything, all the dry ingredients together, the powdered sugar, almond meal, and cocoa butter. Cocoa powder, not butter. Um, and you'll see that there's these chunks right here. Um, you can just throw these away because I don't think that you can sift them any longer. Now that we have our dry ingredients ready, we're just going to set this aside. We're not going to be needing the sifter anymore. Um, we're going to be now working with the egg whites and we're going to be adding four tablespoons of sugar in our kitchen stand mixer okay Can you okay so now we're going to be working on um this process is the i believe the macaronage um we're going to be getting our egg whites putting it in the stand mixer so that's two egg whites and if at you, room temperature. And if you don't have a stand mixer, they can use a handheld one, right? Yeah, you can, but the 
best way is with a sound mixer. There's best results? Yeah. Okay. I mean, so I've tried it with... It. I've, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I mean, you could do it. I mean, I've tried to do it with the hand mixer and it didn't come up the same. So I it definitely like it with the sound mixer a lot better. So right now, you know, we're just going to be putting this down. And we're just going to want to really mix it until it gets... Really until it gets really white and foamy, um, once you see the texture changing, we're gonna be adding little by little sugar, regular sugar. Like a meringue, right? Yeah, uh, before that. Oh, okay. That's gonna happen with the sugar. The sugar. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we'll show you guys clips of this. We'll do like a little close up so you guys can see the stuff. Okay. So once you realize it's getting a little bit foamy, um, just like this, I mean, like this just start adding the sugar little by little as it's still you know whisking away so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that real quick Now when you see it like this, it's not ready. It needs to stick to it when you take it out and you kind of lift it, it doesn't come out. This is still not ready at all. We have a lot of work to do. But getting there, it's getting there. Go. So um, once you do the meringue, uh, it's really important to reach um, really hard uh, peaks, sift, you know. And you can tell because it's really hard. Flip it over, nothing's gonna fall. Okay. And now, what we're gonna do, let me just kind of clean this up here. Um, we're gonna be mixing our almond meal mixture with the meringue. So, now it's for the fun part, and I would say uh, the most important part because we have to fold this and um, we wanna make sure we get it the right kind of consistency. Like we're folding clothes? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but with food. <laughs> so um, now we're going to get half of this or maybe, you know, a third uh, each time and mix it with, uh, fold it in with the ring. So let's kind of get some of that. I'll show you how to fold okay. it. Um, I I'll can fold, fold some of my clothes. <laughs> I'm just going guess. Okay. I mean, I could, but... <laughs> so, um, okay. So basically, you have to kind of fold it like this and you mix it. So it's just kind of scraping the edge and mixing it in. You don't want to kind of go around. You have to kind of like lift it and literally fold it. Half it, fold it okay. as you half it. Right, so. Okay. So we definitely want our, we just finished making the macaronage, mixing the meringue and the almond meal mixture. So um, basically we want it at a consistency where um, you, we see that it's kind of drooping. So that's the best consistency for the macaronage, for the cookie, this is the cookie. We definitely don't want it to be something like really hard and very stiff. You can see it looks more cake, like brownie batterish. This is definitely not what we want. Um, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna um, pipe the cookies. Um, but I like to use the Ziploc bag and put it in a bag and then slowly pour um, the full cookie mixture into here so then we can later pipe them. Um, 
So basically what the purpose of the cup is to help it stay, right? Yeah. So it'll be easier. So it's really smart. I've actually, I've used Ziploc bags to pipe when I'm doing like cupcakes and stuff when I'm like frosting, but I've never actually um, done it like this. This is really smart to put it in like a glass cup, put the Ziploc so that it just sits right. And the oven's letting us know that it's ready. We preheated the oven to what? 300 degrees. 300 degrees. We're gonna let it each side cook for about eight to nine minutes and then we're gonna switch it. Okay. And um, so by we'll the way, demonstrate that as well. the recipe will be in the down bar below the information so you guys can go ahead and see it on there in more detail so you can follow along easily, easier even though we've told you guys along the way. Okay. Um, do you have like a scissors? Like, I have credit card. A credit card? Mm -hmm. <laughs> bring everything down. It's not gonna touch it <laughs> These are the Mikasa cups. You can find the collection at Macy's. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless we're getting paid for that, we don't hey, advertise. It's so nice. It's kind of advertise it. Okay. So now what I like to use is like a credit card. Um, <laughs> like a credit card and or any type of like big type of card you can use like coupons like Victoria's Secret coupons yeah like the Victoria's Secret you know how they send you things in the mail like but your that's... free panties like those types those are paper <laughs> coupons though yeah it still works I like something thicker though but or a gift card gift cards work as well yeah a ruler but with the credit cards you need to be gentle because you can puncture the bag and you don't want that. Yeah, you don't want any This is so that. we can just kind of bring everything down um, so we have all of the, the cookie basically in one area to make it easier for us. For piping. Yes. I like your nails to just get them done. Yeah, I got it done today. Which oh, nice. Kind of That's okay. You just wash off the... Mm -hmm. It's just caking. Caking. It's just caking stuff. I got it done, yeah. I like it. I want to go. I gotta get mine done. Sorry, it's so off subject. <laughs> but first, let me take a selfie. Let me take a selfie. Okay. So, just like this. Ready for piping. Ready to cut a hole. And she has, did you show this? I don't know if you did. Like, I have templates. Yeah, she has templates. Did you just print them online? You can print them online. Just put a macaron template. Yeah, and then it's like the perfect size that you need. So you basically, um, she lined up two on the cookie sheet. She put two of them, which are eight and a half by eleven size. And you need a parchment paper or wax paper works on top one. of it, yeah. Because um, you don't want the cookie directly on the. Absolutely, yeah. Um, can we have you kind of make an exact estimate on this and cut it? it should be about the same. While she's doing that, I'm going to be cutting a very tiny hole, um, ready for piping. You don't want it too big. Is that okay? Um, yeah, that should be fine. Um, as far as piping goes, I like to make, you know, really small <laughs> cards. Like, I know I was dripping. <laughs> That looks really wrong. <laughs> it's like you're holding a boob. <laughs> oh That's dripping. Uh, okay. Look at that. I'm okay. So after you pipe them, you basically keep doing that thing. What she was doing is to drop them. Um, so that there's no bubbles in there. And you let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. So we're basically doing a double broiler where we have hot water in the pot under it and a um, Pyrex bowl on top. So we're melting the chocolate, which is chocolate, what else is it? Heavy cream and what else? And vanilla. And I'll put the uh, ingredients on for you so you guys can know exactly how much to put in there. 
So you keep doing that until it melts. This is the ganache that's going to go in the center of the actual cookies.